Hello my lovelies and welcome to today's video. I thought I'd come on here and share some things that I've recently bought. It's basically like a summer haul but also majority of the things I got today as a kind of like a pre-birthday treat. Um, my birthday is coming up in I think less than two weeks and I just wanted to treat myself to a couple of things. So I'm going to show you the things that I got today and then work my way backwards with some things that I've either talked about really briefly in a vlog or um, haven't shown at all yet. So the main kind of reason for the treats today was that a local shop called Bath and Bliss is sadly closing down but that did mean that everything was 50% off so I went in there just to show some support, say goodbye to the lady because we chat every now and then um, as we go past each other and you know just to see what kind of goodies I could kind of have like a back stock of um, for a while particularly some favourites. So let's show you these. They're also kind of like a, um, it's a partial me treating myself and a partial my other half um, gifting me some of these with for birthday stuff. So early birthday present um, for myself and the partner. So let's dig out a couple of things from Randa. So there are two uh, body butters. There's Twilight and Space Girl. And I believe both of these are from the Lush, um, scent same name um so it's inspired by those and i can already smell them even with the lid closed they smell delicious so looking forward to these these also tend to be quite um nice for the skin so i thought i'm i'm currently in a really bad eczema um cycle at the minute so anything that's going to nourish my skin that i mean i know these have fragrances in them so i'm probably going to wait until it calms down a little bit but the, the stuff that's in here is really soothing and i know that my skin drinks it up usually so got those to the side i have some boo boo balm which is again nourishing and kind to the skin 100 percent vegan and natural um they are by a specific brand called the soap shop if any of you have heard of them before or are familiar with them generally this is what they look like and this is described as a formulated balm for baby skin as well as adults um, you take a small amount from the pot warm it up in your hands and apply to bumps scrunches dry skin and lips dry scalps or anywhere that you need it so it's for dry skin which currently I am undergoing that problem I get it quite I mean eczema my eczema particularly is triggered definitely by stress but mainly at the minute it's the change in like season like the weather has just been crazy at the minute for the UK um global warming what can we say so my skin is definitely suffering that we have like a torrent of rain and the next day it's like boiling hot for us so my skin it, it just reacts awfully and unfortunately I can't stop the, the scratching sometimes i'm doing it in the night like uh, i won't you won't be able to see but on my tattoo here i woke up like in the morning and i was like feels like i've got a slice in my arm and i, I had somehow i did i wasn't wearing these it was my bare nails and they're not even that long but i'd somehow like sliced into my arm as i was scratching in the night whilst i was asleep so i need to wear mittens or something to bed um my favorite things that i was excited to get uh were <laughs> this is gonna sound so like old lady carpet fresheners i loved these i had my first one like a couple of months ago and it lasted ages uh, i can't remember the scent we got for it but i thought whilst i'm here let me get a couple of these i honestly that was kind of like my main thing that i knew i was going to get and i forgot until i got to the till and then they caught my eye and i was like ah oh, carpet fresheners so i have palmer violet scent and watermelon scent and they literally just get sprinkled on your carpet um before you hoover and it just releases this beautiful scent around the home all rugrats bath bombs oh my little angelica's hair pigtail has snapped but alas it's gonna get broken in the bath anyway so as i say this is angelica and she's actually it's kind of scary um this is a fizzy sweet scent and it just smells like fizzy and sweet to be quite honest and then there is Tommy, which smells like bananas. I wasn't too keen on this one, but I think it's one of those scents that might um, disperse nicely in the water, like kind of give you a better idea of the scent overall rather than compacted too densely in the packaging. If I like these, I'm definitely going to look more into this company as a side because I have more of the soap shop products and I've got loads of these little guys. So these are 
So these are called sugar scrubs and they're for all over the body. You just get your body a little bit wet and then scrub them all over. Two candy floss. Oh, these smell delicious. Avocado and olive, which is an interesting combination. Lemon, lime and grapefruit. Satsuma juice and strawberry. Picked up a couple lip scrubs as well. They look like quite generous pots. I'm not too sure how many are like gram wise is in here, but they look like they'd last me a while. So I picked up pineapple cubes and sherbet dip, which is very much nostalgic of um, like favorite sweets when I was little. I'm foot scrub bar. Um, it's like a pumice stone. So yeah, my feet are awful at the moment. They're not awful to be honest, because I've been wearing like my bare feet shoes. So generally I would say they're good health, but the calluses are starting to take over on the um, edges of my feet. And I just really need to give them a little bit of love. Solid bath bar. This is a baby powder. Nothing hits harder than a little bit of that baby powder, talcum powder scent. It just smells so clean. You feel clean when you've got it on. Oh, delightful. I also wanted to try a couple of these balm products. I have Weird Balm and I have Night Balm. So by the company Our Tiny Bees. A, oh, the Weird Balm is a antiseptic and healing balm with essential oils. The Night Balm has frankincense and neroli scent and you apply it over your face at night. I think it's probably gonna be best during winter or when it's like really cold out because it, it's like a balm consistency, right? So it's gonna be kind of thick um, and it might feel a little bit oily when it's too hot as it is at the minute but that's how it looks just warm it up again in your hand rub it in so that'd be quite nice to just nourish my skin whilst i sleep but probably when it's a bit cooler i picked up the ancient wisdom hair serums and i got two one in castor and argon infused with carrot seed and the other in also castor and argon infused with peppermint and yeah i love a good serum for your hair for your face or anything like that but this sounds like it's going to be tingly and delicious especially the peppermint one lastly from the shop that was closing down i got the ancient wisdom facial toner mist clear skin in tea tree and apparently everybody that has tried this has gone back for a second bottle so hopefully i have a chance to do so if i love it um when you know before they close very lastly from there i got a citrus body oil which i thought would be super nourishing on my skin especially straight out the shower just so it just soaks up all that goodness and this again is by our tiny bees next up in boots i had some points to use i purchased some really cute little hair bands which i thought would be nice for the plaits that i've got in at the minute if i want little styles with you know not so bulky a hairband as the one on my wrist for example and i also picked up this new to me brand this is bioma and this is a deep puff brightening eye gel i wanted one on backup after my um current one finishes up i've still got quite a bit left but i think it's gonna go quickly because i've been doing it more often than not twice a day now um just because i'm fast approaching 28 and i don't want to harm my skin or cause any unnecessary um signs of aging i guess and i think i'm subconsciously more in tune with that i suppose for today's purchases at least i picked up two different shades of adore red hair dye because i was dyeing my hair and the color theory i was lacking in in that understanding i guess still and I, I think i just needed some red to kind of get what i was after so i don't know how i didn't have any red in my collection at all so the colors were definitely a bit off and more neutralized rather than the vibrancy that i was after so but we shall see but i was going to put plaits in anyway so it didn't really matter and um, so i got crimson and ruby red i picked up a new hobby and that is crochet so i first off bought this really cute crochet yarn um just because it looks pretty but i didn't really know what i was getting so this is the rico rumi um dk i forget what dk stands for but i got that because i know it's good for the size um hooks that i've got and i thought it was pretty but then my two friends that are kind of helping me uh, or coach me in crochet shall we say um was with me and i was like okay i need kind of like a goal i don't want to go over the top with buying all this yarn and then not ever using it because i'm overwhelmed or getting the wrong stuff so i chose a project that i want to kind of keep with i guess if i have a goal in mind it's a bit easier to kind of pick up the practice so i've got colors that would go for that project so i got Three of the Women's Institute um, Premium Acrylic Yarn in DK again, that's the size. 
so this nice kind of burnt reddish color reddish orange this pink shade and this deep evergreen shade and then i also got this um kind of gray green olive shade as well which hopefully i kept the wrapper to say where it was from but i think i might have chucked it yep i've chucked it i don't know what kind of yarn that was from or what company I hate to be that girl but i've just realized how long this video is so i'm going to save the books to another video um and have this as a part one part two pre-birthday haul but anyway thank you so much for watching i shall catch you in another video soon bye <laughs>